<coughs> well, Newtown, like it, uh, the name suggests, is a uh, when the uh, Garrison Dam project happened back in the 50s, the, uh, the reservation, most of the uh, bottom land, the, the, the good land, yeah. was uh, dammed up. And so they had to readjust and move their whole town up to this place that we call Newtown now. So <laughs> kind of up, on, up on the higher bluff. So the town was down there where the lake is then? Yeah, back back it was Some, it was up to the to the south there. Somebody else said that do they have any pictures of it anywhere? Yes. I uh, I personally don't have any I mean but there there are archives and I In mean the library? absolutely, you know? absolutely. Okay. I gotta come back out here, man. Uh man, where you from man? What's what's um, I uh, I was born in a place called Eagle Butte, South Dakota. Uh, my mother was from there. My father was from a place called Mandaree, which is yeah. about it's about 20, 24 miles to the yeah. As the road goes, about, yeah, because I lived in Mandaree. To, as the crow flies, yeah, yeah. So that's that's where I uh, a place called Bear Den. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 back off in there while, yeah. while, while those snake, snake roads yes, and stuff yes. back off in there. Absolutely. <laughs> well, yeah, absolutely. So that I, I grew up out in Bearden, and uh, and uh, you know, we 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 understood that uh, <coughs> we were uh, a unique people, yeah, and we had to uh, adjust to uh, the coming wave of uh, what uh, what we would think of as. Uh, the going thing, you know, yeah. what is culture, I guess. Yeah. But we've, we've managed to maintain, I think, you know, and through this, yeah. do what you're doing right now, you know, you're, you're actually, uh, I mean, not, you're not, documenting. I mean, not only that, Absolutely. it's just new, new town, like, y'all got something real special, you know, they, they, they may have made the attempt to move y'all from where they wanted y'all to be, but, but actually, they blessed you, you got blessed even more because now you look at it when everything fell off, all the work was out here. Bro. Is that a coincidence? I'll tell you, man, because <laughs> hey, when, when everything fell off, everybody knew okay, all the work's on the reservation, so everybody had to come to y'all. <clears throat> oh, yeah, well, you know, when 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 the, the dominant uh, factor that happened when, when the natives were forced upon their on their on their current lands and stuff, that happened, and that's that's a fact, and, yeah, and that's that's okay. But where they moved us to happened to be rich and, and like you're saying. Yeah, because they didn't know it at the time. At the time. That's a, that's a, that's a total coincidence. Yeah. I mean, absolutely coincidence. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, it worked out, man. It worked out. And I'm happy because every time I come to Newtown, I see, like, I, I see greatness in my opinion. You know, because it ain't, it, it ain't just, you know, Y'all, it, it ain't just y'all hanging on, man. Y'all are doing great. We're trying. We're, we're, we're trying to make uses of, of, of. We're trying to make use of what's been presented. Yeah. Just like anybody else. Yeah, I would think. Yeah. And I think y'all are doing a great job. Y'all, y'all got this school, and 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 with this school, you know, you know, y'all begin teaching your own people. You know, raising them up. And, and I can say this from a personal experience, being being a black person, don't lose your language, man. Y'all yeah. lose your language, bro. There, there, there ain't nothing that y'all have that's intimate that you can share with your own people other than your history. Your history goes on as the years keep going, but your language, your language always stays, man. I, I, I beg to differ. I think that you guys held on to it and then you're reflecting this whole place. Just by you being out here. Yeah, I got you on that. Yeah, I got you on you that. You might have lost. It, it, it might have. <clears throat> this is what I was. This is what I would like to say real quick. In in the South, the Native Americans got uh, initiated with the yeah. Spanish. In the North, it was the English. Yeah. But it, it united all those tribes to talk to each other. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I got you. So I got you. I, in, in a way. We can we can flip it around and make yeah. sure that it's, yeah you see it from both ways so we can make sure that we're making use use of it. I hear you, man. Man, what's uh what's some things you've seen? Uh, well, you said you were you know, like you were saying before. You said this was just a little bit of town, and now it's it's. Oh yeah, it's uh, when, when I, I I I grew up out here until I was about sixteen. 
I'm, I'm 50 now, so when I was 16, I left. Back and forth, and, I, and it's always my home. But when I left, it was a little town. <laughs> yeah. And when I came back this last time, it is, it's a little city. There's yeah. people from everywhere, everywhere. We, I have a, one of my, uh, one of the instructors here, uh, she's from Ghana, Africa. Yeah. Another guy's from um, uh, the Philippines. Yeah. And you know what, man? That's a good thing to have that diversity. You have, it's, it's kind of like I explained to somebody, you know, you can have a pond, but the thing about a pond is you don't have the water, the fresh water from like a river or a stream coming through to circulate. So you get water that just sits there versus when you have, you know, kind of like the currents of the ocean, you know, the water still moves. It doesn't get stagnant. It doesn't get still. You know, it, it's, it's always teeming with life. And you could tell that that uh, that Newtown's gotten like that. It's teeming with life and opportunities. Yeah, that's a, uh, the parallels are obviously yeah. uh, obvious. Yes, absolutely. I, I would think so. Yeah. The thing I'm glad that you mentioned yeah. the water, the you know the the, the standing rock thing. Yeah. You know that's it, it, it brought to a head a uh, point about the the actual. Uh, what will will be what will have to happen is is that we're going to have to figure out whether we want all people to have water or yeah. just certain those that I got them pay in for cans, yeah. trying to give them away. So, anyways, yeah. well, uh, <laughs> here in California, they'd be worth ten cents a piece. That'd be like five bucks in cans. We're doing the interview here. From, yeah. uh, I'm sorry, bro. What was it? Uh, Jir, and I'm a YouTube challenge JP TV right, 3000. Yeah. yeah, that's right. So we're gonna we're gonna look it up. Okay. This okay. is my brother James. Hey, how, how are you? Guys? Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you, Mr. Page. Yeah. I'm Michael. Jim Page. Uh, Jerry Page. Jerry Page. Yeah. I was telling about my YouTube channel. I gave him a fly so y'all can check it out. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, like I was telling him, I've been meaning to come up to Newtown so I can spend more time with y'all because I've, I've always wanted to have y'all y'all's opinion and y'all presence on my YouTube channel. But I work 20 days on, 10 days off. And on my 10 days, I mostly go home most of the time, but I decided today, you know, I'm gonna take the time, come out to Newtown, put out some flyers, you know, yeah. so, so more people can see. And like I was telling before, I've been interviewing people, uh, business owners, who you are, where you're from, what brought you to North Dakota, what's been your experiences, and what advice would you give to other people that are thinking about coming up here before they come up here? That way people kind of have an idea of what they're getting themselves into. And also do job posts, companies hiring in the oil field. Mm. Um, like I was telling him, I'm in a documentary called Black Gold Rush, and that's on my YouTube channel. And I'm also in a CNN report they did back in 2016. Mm -hmm. That's oh, also wow. on my YouTube channel. That's exciting. Hey, man, I, I totally appreciate what, what you're uh, what you're bringing to uh, at least to light a, a certain amount of uh, what's going on here. Because yeah. with, with the influx of, uh, of that um, job opportunity and what you're yeah. saying and stuff, it's going to bring the... Yeah. the the dark side yeah, too as yeah, because well. it's it's gonna bring both ways. You're yeah, gonna get absolutely. the good and you're gonna, you're gonna get gonna the get bad, both. but you kind of want to get, you know, the best people that you can. Yeah. And anybody looking to better themselves, anybody looking for a better opportunity, anybody <clears> looking <throat> to to do more than just the average. I mean, this this, this is the perfect place for. Them. Well, I I always saw this place. I mean, I've been here for six years, so I'm not from here, but yeah. I always saw this place. Is you, you ever read The Merchant of Venice, the Shakespeare one, Merchant of Venice? Uh -huh. Back then, Venice was like uh, kind of like a port where people from all over the Mediterranean would come through yeah, Venice. Okay. And because of that, Venice yeah. itself was very rich with culture. And they had other cultures that would come. And so, you know, and me being from California, yeah. I listened to them talking at the casino. I'm like, hey, hey, not, not to step on him, but. No, you're but, good, you're good. I, I just. Let me just say this. Make this thing as, as far as the Native Americans are concerned, uh, if you look at. Are you going to go home? If you look at where we're positioned in, in the states, we're right almost dead center. And, and if you look at the, the, the highway systems and all that stuff, they came to trade with us. And that's and that's the truth. That's a that's a historical fact. We have uh, seashells from Mexico. And, uh, we have different trinkets from all over the all over, they traded with with us. That's what I say. I gotta come back up here and our, yeah, do more, it, man. It's it's this is a hub. Yeah. It's always been a hub. You know, the graduation is tomorrow morning. It's always been a hub. State. College graduation at the Porgers, right? What's your name again, man? Jerry. Jerry. 
Wallace, man. Nice to meet nice you, Wallace. Well. The councilwoman's going to be there. Maybe the chairman will be there. Maybe he won't. He didn't say he committed. Out uh, here in front of the four bears. Can I zoom in? The four bears. Casino and Lodge. And that's the entrance. When they lost $20, I'm straight away. Time to go to the house. Peace.